Hello everyone, I am Jason from JLo Cycling and today I'm bringing you the new Art Bike pedals from Redshift Sports. These pedals feature LED lights that insert into the pedal that help you stand out and stay safe while you're on your bike. Stick with me as I install these pedals and show you all the great features these pedals have. So now let's open up the box and see what comes inside. So we got two pedals, left and right. Instructions. So there's a magnet here that when engaged to the pedal stays stuck. So it comes with four lights. Hence the four charging ports. So these are designed to act as both front or rear lights, or you can use them inside your pedal. And the neat thing about these is when you're going forward, the red light stays at the back. Let's start out with the light module. And that's 25.5 grams and 51 grams for both and now the redshift pedal that's about 301 grams and you add the two light modules you're looking at about 152 grams. So I have a couple other pedals here to compare. So this cheap plastic pedal is about 146 grams. And a nicer, more expensive pedal from SuperCaz. You're looking at 184 grams. So the Redshift pedals are significantly heavier than a regular pedal and when you add the light modules they're even heavier. But the safety benefits of them definitely outweigh the extra weight and if you're just using them for commuting the weight isn't a significant factor. So these pedals are going to provide a pretty large platform, a lot of stability, so these are going to be good for commuting. These little spikes should provide plenty of grip. They're not super large and they're not too pointy, so if your foot slips off it's not going to bang you and cut up your shin. So for reference, they're about the size of my palm. Comparing to some other SuperCaz, these are a larger platform pedal for mountain biking and they're about the same size but they don't have as aggressive of studs. Compared to a cheaper plastic pedal that comes on a lot of low end stock bikes. So now let's install these on the bike and see how they feel. So to install these pedals, we're gonna need two things. 15 millimeter wrench and some bike grease. You can also use a six millimeter Allen key, but I think the 15 millimeter wrench gives you a little bit more leverage, especially if you're removing old pedals that are stuck or harder to get off. So let's install these. So we're gonna use a 15 millimeter 
open end wrench to remove the pedal. And remember, you have to spin backwards. This pedal has been on here for a while, so it's a little tough to get off. And then we do the same for the other side. So now that we have the pedals off, it's time to install the new pedals. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you install the right pedal on the right side because of the threads. So before we install these, we'll wanna put a little bit of grease on them. So I've got a little bit of grease. I'm just gonna put some of this on the threads. Now to install these, we'll spin forward. Make sure you get these started by hand because you don't want to cross thread them. Then you can use the wrench. They don't need to be too tight. Included with the pedals is a charging hub with four slots to make charging the light modules easily and it takes about two hours to get a full charge. So next we'll wanna talk about the light modules. So on the top there is a button to turn it on and these have three light modes. So the first press is a steady light and this lasts for about three hours. Second press is the flash mode and it lasts for about 11 hours. The third press is an eco flash and lasts about 36 hours. And then if I keep going, it'll go to white, steady, flash, and eco flash. To turn the light module off, you'll need to press and hold it. Now we'll insert these into the pedal. So I have two of the light modules and we'll insert these into the pedal. And when it gets close to the magnet, you'll hear it pull in and click. Same thing with the other one. So we'll turn this on. We have the white light in the front and the red in the rear. And then if you flip the pedal over, it switches. Next, we'll take these pedals outside and go for a spin. I'm outside and it's still daylight out. I wanted to show the brightness during the day. So I'm gonna do a few pass-bys in each of the modes and then I'll do a few later on this evening when it's dark out so we can see the difference. A scientific study at Clemson University found that adding biomotion increases visibility by up to 57% compared to standard front and rear lights. Basically this is adding motion to the lights makes you more visible. The light modules are securely connected using magnets. The magnets are quite strong and require a good pull to remove from the pedal bodies. I've had no issues with the modules removing and Redshift stated that they didn't have a single module disconnect in all of their testing. The light module uses a high power dual color COB LED strip. The red is about 20 lumens and the white is about 50 lumens. Redshift emphasizes that lumens aren't the most important factor for visibility and that the pedaling motion makes it more visible than just a fixed mounted light. The pedals with the light modules cost about 139 US dollars, but you can get a 10% coupon with your first order and free shipping. These pedals are relatively expensive, but they provide a lot of safety and are definitely worth the money. The light modules have a waterproof rating of IP67, this means that they cannot get submerged, but can withstand splashing and dust. After 30 seconds without sensing movement, the light modules will turn off and enter a standby mode. They will turn on again when slight movement is sensed. 
The next mode is the sleep mode. After 180 seconds without sensing movement, the light modules will enter into a sleep mode. They will turn on again when heavier movement is sensed. And the last mode is shut off mode. After 24 hours on sleep mode, the light modules will completely shut off and need to be manually turned on by pressing the button.